Always interesting to see these low VIX, low volatility rallies. The market's at all-time highs. S&P approaches 3,100. And look at the NYSE tick, broader market tick. And it's it's not, the high of the day is only 379. It is just um, extremely low readings. Let's take a look at this on a longer-term basis. Let's go back two months and make it 15-minute bars. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. So NYSE tick is a broader, um, it's, it, Measures the number of upticks minus the number of downticks on the NYC broader market. And you see, um, if you take a look at this, you see kind of a downtrend in these um, highs. I have the, um, you see kind of a downtrend in the highs here. So um, overall, uh, we had this peak at the beginning of November the 1st, above 1,200, the NYC tick. And these NYC ticks are lower and lower every day. Today, the high is 379. Just sitting at all-time highs, and the number of ticks is lower and lower and lower. Even back in this time frame, um, it's just, when when volatility is high and the market's trying to run at highs, the ticks the ticks run high. But when it hits all-time highs, you get these low VIX readings and um, narrower p participation. You see right now, plus 170. Advanced decline line is at plus 592. Let's take a look at the daily chart on that. And you see it's kind of been in a downtrend as well here on the advanced decline. So daily chart, advanced decline line, trending down, less highs on the advancers and decliners. So makes it an interesting rally from my perspective. Doesn't quite make sense to me personally um, to, see, uh, to see the market at all-time highs and, and uh, these market internals are not you know they're not pegging away at all at, at the highs at the high range typically the NYC tick goes between plus a thousand and minus a thousand and it's just very controlled very tightly controlled low VIX rally advanced decline line same way um, very 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 controlled and so um, you know it's a scenario where um, you may see it run up slowly the market run up slowly and then once the market internal start pegging once the tick starts pegging Plus 1,000 or or 12 plus 1,200, that could be a profit-taking signal, and so that's one contrarian way to look at the NYC tick. As long as VIX is low, as long as the market's just melting up slowly, um, you stay long, and then once it hits plus 1,000 to plus 1,200, then take profits, because um, then the then the um, there's a they're chasing the market at that point. And right now, it's just a controlled rally, and um, you know, chasing the market becomes a profit-taking endeavor. The concept is is that they're pushing the market up, looking for FOMO, looking for looking for the retail buyer to jump in and chase the market at highs, and then they'll take profits and sell. And you could maybe see that in the NYC tick. So that is one one way to take a look at how this works on low low volatility. Uh, low VIX type of markets when you get a rally like this at all-time highs and the market internals just really aren't doing much uh, kind of acting like it's a holiday so that's the uh, that's what I wanted to share with you in this video